Hello and welcome back to another episode of Common Clash. Today's episode is another spooky special where we're playing with some October themed decks with some special guests. If you enjoyed the video, remember to give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below. All links to our decks will be in the description below. And remember, if you want to buy any of the cards that you see in today's episode, head on over to TCG Player using our affiliate link that is also in the description. Now let's meet our players. Hello and welcome everyone to another spooky episode here on Common Clash. I'm Frank and today I'm welcomed with some great guests, uh, but I'm going to explain my deck uh, first. So I'm playing the Scarab God and it's not zombie tribal. It's actually a mix of, you know, during Halloween you dress up as your favorite character. So in this deck we're going to be cloning a lot of the creatures our opponents are playing. So it's kind of a clone build. Not too much theft in the deck, there's like maybe one or two cards, but that's the overall theme of this deck, dressing up and being the imposter. Yeah, hey everybody, I'm uh, Mr. Rivers. Uh, thank you very much for having me on, Frank. I really appreciate the invite. Uh, I'm ready to spook it up a bit here with, uh, you know, this uh, haunted deck, as I would call it, as I am playing Spirit Tribal, because who isn't afraid of ghosts on Halloween, right? What's up, y'all? My name's Philosopher. Um, so today I'm playing Nekasar the Mind Razor. The deck is basically a trick-or-treat themed deck. Um, I like to call it Gift or Grief. So there's a lot of cards in the deck that are going to help my opponents with card draw or giving them creatures and stuff like that. But then there's also some things that, while it may look like a gift, it's actually not, and it will end up hurting them in the long run or you know helping the rest of their opponents um, instead. So that's the main thing of the deck, gift or grief. Um, you never really know what you're going to get. So that's what I'm playing. All right. Hello, everybody. This is Chain of Chain of Commander uh, coming to you as part of this month of Spook Collab that we're doing here with the Reaper King. The Reaper King is pretty straightforward. Uh, I cast Scarecrows, and those Scarecrows attack people. So I'm going to try to get them out early and cause a little bit of havoc and terrorize the town folk. All right, and so all links to your guys' social media accounts, all where they can find you, where you stream or play YouTube, will be in the description below. But we've got our opening hands. We can go ahead and start off with Chain. First turn, so let's un keep the draw. Oh, going to play a tap Cinder Glade and pass. All right, I will draw. Then I'm going to play a tapped Myriad Landscape, and I'll pass. Okay, I will draw. Oh. Oops, Mr. Bevers. My bad. That's right. Me me first, and then you. Uh, I'll draw. I'll play an island and pass. Go ahead. Now you can go for it. So I'm going to play a mountain, and I will tap that to play a Curse of Opulence. And now Whoa. I need to decide um, a player that's going to get this wonderful or a curse. Um, let's see. Well, it can't be Frank because he invited me onto the show. <laughs> um, so... Yeah, you know what? Let's do this. I'm going to roll a die. Roll evens evens will be Chain, and odds will be Mr. B. Okay, so Chain is going to get the Curse of Opulence, and then uh, the I will cool pass thing the turn. about gold over the treasures is that gold doesn't need to be tapped to activate. So, yeah. Ah. I am going to play this Gateway Plaza, paying the one so that it doesn't explode on me, and I'm going to pass the turn. All right. Untap, draw... I'm going to play an island, and then I'm going to tap two for some swift foot boots. hey -o. I'll pass. And booties. <laughs> I'm going to play this Sea of Clouds Selfless Spirit. Because hey. it's time to get spooky up in this business right here. I will draw a Evolving Wilds for turn. I will pass the turn. Ooh, my turn. Nice. Shock in an Overgrown Tomb with a Ristic Study. Ooh. No, uh, the scariest card there uh, is. I'm going to untap, draw. I'm going to play a Tainted Isle, and then I'm going to pass, and I'm going to crack my Mirrored Landscape while I pass and get two swamps. Okay. All right, well, I will draw for turn, and I will play yet another island. Declare attackers at chain. Okay, we'll sack the treasure or the gold token. Pay double white to play Anafenza. And pay the one. Okay, I will tap my Evolving Wilds and go find myself a Swamp. I'll untap, draw. I'll play a Swamp. Um, I will tap three 
for a <laughs> for a cat. Yeah. Uh-huh. There you go. Hey, move it. There you go. I'll pay three for a master of the feast. So I will sack my gold to pay for Ristic study. And then I'll pass the turn. I think I'm just going to play this Evolving Wilds. Also play nothing and pass turn. Untap. Draw. I'm going to pay three for a morph. I'll pay for one. <laughs> Since everyone else does Number one cardio. And then I'll pass. I'm done after that. And you see what I'll do is I'll even do this for you. I'll swing you first for two in the air. So I get a gold token. And I'll pay the one. And I'll play this Field of Souls. Well, with that on the stack, I'm going to crack my Evolving Wilds. Okay, I'll okay. untap. I will draw. Oh, we get to draw. Um, hey, you're up. Don't don't we, all all get, yeah, we all draw. draw. Thank you Correct. for the treat. So I'll move to combat. Sorry, Chain, I need that gold so that you don't draw a Ristic Study. Um, I'm going to path to exile it. I'm paying for the Ristic Study. Sazen, Perverter of Truth. And then uh, I will pass the turn. All right, untap. Upkeep, draw two. Take two. And then draw for turn. Here's a land for turn. I think I think we're gonna do what I just came here to do. Play that. Play our commander. Uh, and then I'm gonna have to move to discard. I'm gonna discard <laughs> this wicker witch. I'm gonna lose <laughs> two, draw two, and then oops, draw for turn. I want to play a thriving moor, and I'll name island as it enters. I'm gonna cast a wish claw talisman. And you said you're not paying the one. I will not. Pay one and activate it, and I'll give it to Mr. Bevers over there. Pay one and get me my expedition map out. So I'm just going to pass after that. So I'm just going to tutor and pass. I'm going to go ahead. Oh, I got to draw two cards, don't I? Or three, I technically. I yeah, three. Gonna, okay. And take two damage. Ow. I'm going to pay I'm gonna pay a blue for this soul ring. Yeah, I think I'll pay the one. Paying three, paying one from there to play Empyrean Eagle. One colorless mana floating from Sol Ring, so I'm going to tap it to sa to uh, use the Wish Claw. Okay, um, so I get I'll the give it claw. to you, Seth, so you've got the Wish Claw now. I'm just going to swing at uh, Seth in the air. Okay, I'll take four, because I have no flyers. You can, I'll pass a turn and you can go. Um, I will untap, and then I lose two, and I will draw two, and then draw my one for turn. Shivan Reef, one for a Falmire Knight. I will pay the one for that. Tap four, and I'll play a Font of Mythos, and then I will pass the turn after that. One, two, one, two for mm -hmm. the other guy, and then yeah. one more for my draw for turn. I'm going to cast Sakashima the Imposter. Oh. Coming in as a <laughs> copy of Reaper King. It entering the battlefield triggers Reaper King. Uh, so I'm going to blow up the Selfless Spirit. Okay, in response, I'll sack it. And then I'll pay one Jawbone Skulkin. And I'm going to get rid of the curse and your 1-1 one, one Death Touch. Frank, what, uh, what's this token here you got? It's, it's just a 2-2 two, two morph. I'm going to swing at you with a 6-6. Six, six. Well, 7-7 seven, because seven, it's getting buffed by Sakashima. Good, I'll take 7. All right, yeah, that's my turn. All right, untap, upkeep, I draw four and lose two life. Pay two to flip over my morph. Vesuvian Shape Shifter. Review or flip over as a copy of the Reaper King. I'm going to pay four and cast my own Shakashima the Imposter. And when it enters, I'll destroy your original Reaper King. So your Reaper King is just a 6-6 six, six now, right? Yes, it is now, but a measly 6-6. Six, six. All right, I'm just gonna swing seven at you then. I'm gonna I'm gonna pass after that. I'm done. So I'm drawing I'm drawing four and taking two and then drawing my fifth card for turn. I'm gonna play this planes. Uh, I'll swing at chain with a uh, two two flyer. Uh, Frank with a three four flyer and uh, Seth with a two two on the ground. I will try it. Like I will block. And Offenza. Second main phase. Supreme Verdict. Phase. And Seiko. Um, so now I will only draw three. Um, I'll play a Swamp for turn. I will pay one for the Wish Claw Talisman. Um, I'm going to play Marilyn of the of the Morn Song. I will play a Noble Benefactor. Again, not paying the one for a six study. Two tutor effects on the board, and I will pass. So untap, upkeep, draw. Wait, I don't draw. I search my deck and lose three life. Triome, Scuttlemutt, 
Then we're gonna draw Planar Guide. That's my turn. I pass. All right, I'm gonna untap. So I got the card I tutored for. So three mana for Mimic Vat, two mana for Blade of Cells. So I'm gonna pass after that. Instead, pay three life. Ow. Let's play this uh, Glacial Fortress. Let's play Karmic Guide. Let's return Selfless Spirit. And we'll cast Vessel of Ephemera. So combat, I guess, Seth for one in the air. And I'll pass. Um, so I took the three life and I'm searching my deck. Uh, three for Curse of Disturbance. Let's put that on Mr. Look at Mr. B. He's got the no, yeah, he's he's that over here. Yeah. Yep, absolutely. I agree. Creatures. I'm going to get a Demonic Pact. Let's go ahead and do this. Let me swing my Noble Benefactor at you. Yeah, I'll just take it. Pass the turn. I'm going to play a land for turn. I'm going to play a Soul Ring. I'm going to pay seven for a Morphon. I will then tap the Soul Ring to pay for the Commander Tax on my Reaper King. I then will also drop this completely free Unsettled Mariner and destroying that thing that makes us tutor at every upkeep. Um, I'm going to make it go under my Mimic Vat. Uh, I am going to go to combat. I am going to swing... I will swing three at Frank. And that will you be just talk to Frank about how the people across the table from both of you were... Yeah, but then you both decided to have more developed board states, so... I'm going to pay six mana. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to cast a Kakusho the Evening Star. Are you paying the one for that? I will not. I'm going to be done after that. I will untap. I will draw three cards. What what a ridiculous draw that was. Reliquary Tower. Does not Karmic just... Guide have uh, Echo? Pay its casting cost, so there are five for that. No, I guess we'll just pass then. Um, I'll untap. And then in my upkeep... I have to choose one of these four effects. I'm going to choose deal four damage to target creature or player, and you gain four life. I'm going to deal four damage to my noble benefactor. So mm -hmm. everybody gets to go tutor for a card out of their deck. Okay. And then, um, like I said, draw three. So one, two, three. Uh, I will I will pay one more for that Rhystic Study. Um, I'm going to play a Hunted Phantasm. Uh, Frank, I think you need some help over there, so I will gift you <laughs> five goblins. Alright, five goblins coming my way. One cost, paying one for the, uh, Rhystic Study tax. And I'll play a Curse of Vengeance. This one will go on chain, though. Uh, I will pass the turn, because I have six cards. Alright, before your, before the end of your turn. I oh, have don't a do it. Swords mm -hmm, to Plash mm -hmm. on Morpheon. Oh, yes. Are you paying the one for that? I paid, I paid two, the actually. Yeah, that's yeah. the question. And I will be drawing thrice still? Yep. Yes. I will play in Island. I'm going to cast Irregular Cohort, and it'll destroy two things, and the two things I would like to destroy mm -hmm. are the Mimic Vat and the Demonic Act. Alright, I'm going to go to combat, and I'm going to swing 3-3 three, three and a 6-6 six, six at ya. Okay. I will block your 6-6, six, because six, it doesn't have trample, right? That is correct. You will take three. Um, I'm going to pass, pass turn, then. Tap. You're drawing three. Temple of the False God as our land for turn. That's a nice one, yeah. Mm -hmm, I'm going to tap mm -hmm. it for two immediately. I'm going to cast a Mana Vault. One, so four in Demir. I'm going to cast me a Dragon Lord Silumgar. I won't pay the one for the Rhystic Study, but I'm going to pay the one to target your Reaper King to gain control okay. of it until this dies. I'm going to I'm gonna let that resolve. So here you can have him for now. Pay two and cast an Altar of Dementia. All right, with that on the stack. Yeah, so there you go. Force my hand. <laughs> I'm going to Utter End Sir Slimy. Pay one mana. For a training grounds and then i'll move to combat i'm gonna swing you got no flyers over there chain yeah, i got nothing in the air right now i'm gonna swing five at you with kakusho so oh, the way it goes sometimes and then uh, i'm gonna pass after that all right let's play the planes now let's play the dead eye navigator how about that why not? Soul bonded with Karmic Guide. I'm gonna play a uh, Remorseful Cleric. For now, I'm just gonna pass the turn. Okay. I'll draw. I will play Castle Vantress as my land for turn, and let's play Curse of Verbosity. Verbosity. All right, Lords of Chaos. It is. 
let's roll seven. So I believe that's on Frank, Frank isn't it? Yep. All right. All right. So All right, everybody's got an aura on them now. There we go. There you go. Look <laughs> yeah. That. yeah. But I'll pay four for Rhystic Study, and I will play Virtus Maneuver. And this one is going to be very much grief and not much gift. So fo fo fo, and then I am a friend with myself. And then I will put Noble Benefactor back into my hand. Yeah, I'm sorry, Chain. They're not I'm so send, permanent. I'm going to send four at you. And then uh, I will pass the turn. All right. Upkeep. I'm going to be drawing three, right? Yep. Are we at the point where destroying 25 things at once is like in the realm of acceptableness? Go I mean, like, you, you, go, you, you go off, man. Go off if you can. Yeah. I'm going to cast Rite of Replication, targeting my Reaper King. Kicked. Mm -hmm. This is really, this is absolutely a dream come true. Alter Dementia and Training Grounds are two easy gones. The four Goblin Tokens, so that's six. How many, how many fingers do you have? I have a way to count up to ten on each hand. I'm going to destroy the Unblockable guy. All three auras, all three curses. The Reliquary Tower. And a Vault. Yeah, the Myriad thing. All right, well, we'll get rid of the Rhystic Study for you guys. I, I, it's just better than missing all the triggers. Um, Enchantment that you have all the way to the there mr b all right then the last 10 are all going to go on, on my rustic study as well uh i'm just gonna sack before this stuff goes just to mill myself for four uh then we'll go to combat oh this guy is not tapped mr b how much toughness do you have amongst the creatures you have there nine i think i'm just gonna say swing 12 at okay they're all on the ground they are indeed all on the ground blocking okay them. Yeah, I'll block the Reaper King and then one of those. So I'm taking how much? Three? So three. you pass? I did. All right. I'll untap and still get to draw three. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm going to cast Expropriate. Um, really? With that on the stack. Okay. I'm going to exile my planar guide to exile all creatures until end of turn. Okay. Ready? Watch this. Bam. All, my, all my creatures are gone. <laughs> that was my creature. I'm just going to vote time so I can try to take an extra turn. All right, well, I guess I vote money. Okay. And I will also vote money. Um, I'll vote time. I'll let you dig through a little bit. So, I'm, yeah, I'm just going to take the soul rings, I guess, for the money. I'll just go to my first extra turn. At your instep, all our stuff oh, comes yeah. back. So my Reaper King will see four fresh scarecrows entering the battlefield. I will get rid of the swift foot boots, the Imperial Eagle... Selfless Spirit, the Expedition Map. Yeah. Okay, so in response, I'll sack the Selfless Spirit. Untap, draw three, and I'll play my own Soul Ring. So now we know what those are. Clever Impersonator, and again, mm. we've got to bring out the boy, and I'll use my one floating to pay for that one. You did. Four for Thran Dynamo oh. for even more mana. Three, four for a Solemn for some more mana. Three mana for Chaos Wand. Then I'll move mm. to combat. Mm. And chain, I don't think you have flyers, correct? Five is coming your way. And then I am going to go to the next turn. Let's play this good plan. Swamp. So I'm going to pay blue, black, and three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 into X. I'm going to cast a oh uh, mind grind. Oh, X is God. 18. All right. So 18, we have to mill till we reveal 18 lands. Yes, mill until we reveal 18 lands. And then One. while y'all do that, I'm just going to swing five again Two. at chain and Three. six at Seth. No, five. I. Oh my. So then I'll just go ahead and pass the turn. Okay, so at the end of your last turn, mm -hmm. I'll blink Karmic Guide. Now I have more things to choose from, though. Hey. There you go. Yeah. I'm going to return. Uh, my ocean of cleansing fire. Okay, untap, uh, upkeep, blink, karmic guide, return, selfless spirit. Let's play this Moorland haunt. We're just gonna cast uh, spectral procession. Frank, you're tapped out for creatures yeah. and stuff. Right? Yeah, I've got. Okay. No, I've got a He's tutu on the ground. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Okay, so then uh, we'll come at you in the air for five. Um, and we'll come at, uh, Seth for four on the ground. The and I'll pass the uh, turn. Uh, I untap, I will draw my three. I'm going to play an Acroan horse. Let's give it to, I'll give it to Mr. B. So you now have a zero four horse with defender. Uh, I have eight cards in hand. I'm going to discard a Skyclave Shade, um, at the end of my turn and I will pass. 
All right, I will untap for what I have a very strong suspicion. Nice is be the last alternate time. art sky shade too. Okay. Heck, you want to call it? I am then going to play Helm of the Host. Keeper uh, King. Has been that, I'm going to make a non-legendary copy of the Reaper King. I'll destroy the saddest of the robots. We'll then proceed to combat and swing for 4, 8, 12, 19 at frame. Yeah. I'm dead. Yep, I'm dead. So when I die, I think you guys get your soul rings back, right? I'm then going to use my last mana on a heap doll. Two more triggers. Hold on. I'm going to counter it. Okay. Why are we doing this to me? All right, I'm gonna pass turn and cry. Uh, upkeep. I'm gonna bounce karmic guide. Han, real quick, do we make um soldiers on his upkeep because he has that a pro horse? Do, do. Yep. You do. Bam. I'm gonna bring back Anna Fenza. Play a planes. Uh, a dungeon geist for four. And that bolsters, so it bolsters the one of my spirit tokens. It doesn't matter which, because they all have the same toughness. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna tap down uh, the soldier token in front of uh, Seth. Then for two here, we'll play this uh, angelic curator, which bolsters again. We're gonna crack this vessel, and make two more spirit tokens, which will bolster, bolster twice. Okay, Seth, on the ground. You're taking nine on the ground. Uh, these are all three threes in the air. Those three and this. Uh, these are coming at you, Chain, for 12 in the air. And the rest at Seth. I got no so blocks. I'm taking how much total? Taking nine on the ground, 10 in the air, so 19. I'm going to pay three to play Polymorphous Jest. I'm going to take five because I have nothing else. Alrighty. So, spicy play, spicy play. So on tap, that including my tap. nice little soldier. He stays tapped. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. Not including my soldier. Um, draw three. Let's go for two. Um, I'm gonna exhume. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm gonna play Sower of Discord. Um, I will choose. Uh, Mr. Bevers obviously as one. Um, mm. uh, I have to pick Chain. I have Spark Double. It's going to come in as a copy of the Dead Eye Navigator, mm -hmm. and that's going to uh, Soul Bond with Reaper King. I'm I'm playing uh, Kiri Ona, which is when it enters the battlefield, return target creature to its owner's hand. So goodbye, Reaper King. Touche, touche. Which one? <laughs> the one that has the helm of the host on it, obviously. Much unfortunate, but you know, it's 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 a thing. One. This was my one blue. Because the exhume only costs two. So one blue to play mm -hmm. Minds Aglow. Starting with you, each player may pay any amount of mana. Each player draws X cards, where X is the total amount of mana paid this way. One, two, three, four, five, six for me. And one for and, me. And, okay, one set seven. So everybody draw seven cards. And then I'll pass my turn. All right, it's upkeep. I'll draw my last three. Very nice. I'll play a land for turn. Mm-hmm. I'll play Reaper King. Okay. In response, I'll sack Selfless Spirit. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to destroy the... Sower of Discord. Uh, no, I'm not going to destroy the Sower of Discord. <laughs> I'll destroy the horse. I'm going not to... the horse that I was gifted? How dare you? Equip the helm to the Summoning Stick Reaper King. Uh-huh. Um, I'm going to move to combat. I'm going to make sure. another copy of Reaper King. That will destroy two permanents. We will destroy Mr. Bever's Soul Ring. Sure. Mr. Bever's Yojin. Nah, I'm Yojin. You can't. It's indestructible. Oh, that's right. Okay, yeah, let's do the Winter Lander. That's fine, I guess. Three Reaper Kings out here, so all my team's getting plus three, plus three. So, Seth, we got five... 10, 15, 23, 28 coming your way. That definitely will be lethal. I would block one with Sword of Discord, but I would still take lethal. But yeah, I will pass turn to Mr. B. Just and I only, have to, I only draw one, right? 
now because yeah you could yeah you could literally down. just pass and make him draw <laughs> oh that's true yeah well i mean assuming he doesn't have some way to do something else but that's okay i mean like i don't need to i'm gonna pay the two to bounce karmic bringing back the selfless spirit Tony, i don't have any flyers yeah yeah i mean i'm, I'm gonna swing at you with all of my tokens this breaks the chain GG. There it is. All right, there it is. GG's, Mr. B. You can never escape the haunting. That's all I'm I I'm just say. happy that the final damage was done via combat, and not through any weird. Com- <laughs> <laughs> I was I was really waiting for Seth to be like, and for the last thing I do on my turn before I die, I play Nekirsar. Go ahead, Chain. <laughs> <laughs> just draw yeah. three, take three damage. Oh, right. it wasn't good for me, regardless of what what was happening there.